Hey guys, welcome back to our Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we are traveling to Death Valley to take on the 16th ranked LSU Tigers and we are ranked number 7 in the nation. It's going to be a huge game, nationally broadcast, and Brian Martin kicks it off deep to start this game off down to the 3 yard line. As Michael Clayton returning it past the 15 yard line, breaking the tackle and fumbling it. Gilbert dives on it for LSU. And the Tigers catch a huge break. Joseph Adai going in motion left side. And that is caught by Clayton hurtling a man past the 50, the 40, the 30. Finally caught at the 25-yard line by Jimmy Lindsay. What a way for the number one offense in the nation to start off this game. Matt Mock at quarterback. He is in the Heisman running right now. And he's having a heck of a start to this game. Michael Clayton, what an effort. Hurtling over a defender. Mock dropping back to throw it. He's going to go right side to Myers, the tight end, down to the six-yard line. First and goal, LSU Tigers. They are driving. Second and goal now, fourth play of the drive. Mock hands it off to a die, and he walks into the end zone for a six. LSU on top early, seven to nothing. MSU offense gets a chance with tops under center. Hands it off to Norwood, who picks up about five yards on his first carry of the game. Second and five, Ralph Kress, 19 and 11 as the head coach of the Bulldogs. And here's Top scrambling left side. He's got Norwood wide open past the 40-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Tops dropping back to throw once again here, scrambling right side. And he's got Norwood wide open, and he hits him in stride down to the 24-yard line. Bulldogs looking to score, tie this game up. Both offenses looking pretty impressive so far in this game. Garrett in motion left side. Top's going to keep it that way. Sweep. And that is a six-yard pickup on a quarterback sweep from Ken Tops. Second and five. Norwood in the backfield. They're going to go power option right side. Garrett out to block, and he lays him out. But <laughs> he did just enough to spring Ken Tops free, and that is another touchdown in this game. It is now 7-7. Seven to seven. Watches the fullback. Young redshirt freshman gets absolutely destroyed. My goodness. Mock under center. He's going to go draw play to a die. And he is crushed by George Tyler. Oh, my. LSU does recover it. But let's take a look at this hit by the freshman safety. You could hear that all the way up in the nosebleeds. Second and five. Option out right side. Mock's going to keep it himself. And he picks up the first down. Mock is currently number one in the Heisman voting. And he does lose four yards on this play. That is Gabe Wallace coming up for the big tackle for a loss. Second and 14. Mock is sacked. That was an option pass. And Neil Nelson said no thank you. It's his first sack of the game. Third and 16 upcoming. Mock looking to throw it. Goes left side. Caught by Stevens. Well short of the first down. That is Craig Walton. Freshman middle linebacker making the tackle. Bulldogs back on offense. Norwood up the gut, breaking a tackle, fighting forward. Gets about 12 yards and a first down for the Bulldogs. First and 10. Tops dropping back to throw it. Scrambling right side. And he jukes a man out of his shoes past the 40, the 50, the 40. And out of bounds at about the 35-yard line, avoiding contact. Tops having an impressive year on the ground, but only one touchdown on the season. Norwood gets a carry right side, open space in front of him inside the 20-yard line, down to the 16. He's got 36 yards on three carries so far today. Offensive line doing a good job opening up some lanes for the running backs as Tops runs up the middle for nine more yards. And the Bulldogs are already up to 100 yards on the ground. Unbelievable. Third down conversions, we are 10th in the nation at 54%. As Tops looks to throw it here, he's going to scramble right side. Keep it himself, and he is decked at the three-yard line, but he does pick up that first down. Second and goal now. Bryson Davis in the backfield. Tops will option it up the middle, untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That is his second of the game, second on the season. Offensive line doing a great job once again. Second and 10, Mock option right side, and he is taken down at about the 27-yard line. Slovakia Griffith coming up and making the play. Third and two. Mock's going to option again. And he does pick up enough for the first down. LSU looking to get on the board here to tie this ball game up. And here's Mock trying to scramble left side. And he's taken out for no game. 
Senior linebacker Gabe Wallace coming up, making a nice tackle. Mock throwing it over the middle, and that is Torrance Stevens, who is second in Heisman voting currently. He plays wide receiver, and he's also their starting corner, and he leads their team in tackles. Unbelievable talent. Second and five, Joseph Adai gets a handoff. He'll pick up the first down and more. Down to the 43-yard line. LSU continues to drive. 26 yards for Adai on the day. First and 10, Mock up the middle, breaks a tackle from Mikulov, stiff arms a man, runs another man over, and Neil Nelson is going to chase him down, but not until he gets into the end zone. Unbelievable play, terrible tackling by the Bulldogs as Tops jukes another man out of his shoes, gets up past the 50 into Tiger territory. He's got 89 yards on seven carries in this game. First and 10, Tops going to throw it, pump fakes. Scrambles right side, and he throws it at the last second, and John Pena makes the grab down to the 33-yard line. He wanted Norwood, but he overthrew him. Pena was in the right place at the right time for MSU. Great catch by the sophomore tight end. Tops looking to throw it here. Scrambling left side. Nobody's getting open. He finally throws it across his body, and Scott Goldberg makes the grab inside the red zone. What a pass from Ken Tops. Goldberg with a 21-yard reception. Tops is going to option out right side again, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a third time this game. Untouched again. LSU having a really hard time stopping the option. Offensive line doing a phenomenal job. Freshman fullback actually got out there and stayed on his feet that time. Die gets a carry on second and eight. Taking down at about the 23-yard line. Third and two upcoming. Goal line formation. Mock's going to throw it left side, and Torrance Stevens makes a first down catch. 64 yards passing on the left. That'll end the first half, though, with the Bulldogs on top, 21 to 14. Both offenses are just playing lights out right now. No turnovers in the game. As Jerry Nor Jarius Norwood, excuse me, returns the kickoff to about the 25 yard line. The Bulldogs take over on offense. Norwood gets the carry. And he puts it on the turf, and we have our first turnover of the game as Ken Tops misses a tackle. He brings it up to about the 15-yard line, and the Tigers are in great field position as the Miami Hurricanes are absolutely pummeling Houston 45-3 in the second quarter. Mock goes left side, and Michael Clayton makes the catch and breaks a tackle, picks up nine yards. Mock with four consecutive completions. Second and one, the fullback, Jacob Gidry, gets the first down. First and goal upcoming. And they'll hand it off to a die again, and he is taken down. Falls backwards into the end zone, but they don't give him the touchdown. Second and goal, Mikulov, the freshman defensive tackle, stuffs a die for a loss of one. Third and goal upcoming. Gidry walks into the end zone this time, and the Tigers tie it up. We are knotted up at 21 apiece right now. Great game so far. Huge SEC matchup as Ray Ray Bivens is wide open and nobody's going to catch him. He is gone, showing his elite track speed. My goodness gracious. What a throw from Ken Tops as well. Let's take another look here. Drops back, pump fakes, and just fools the junior corner. And nobody's going to catch Ray Ray Bivens in the open field. First and 10 for the Tigers. A die breaking loose, trucking through a corner. I believe that was Slovakia Griffith, our senior captain on defense, getting absolutely destroyed. Second and 10. Mock is crushed by Mikulov, and he fumbles it. And Markel McKinley dives on it. The freshman defensive tackle, what a huge play. He is becoming a force in the middle of that defensive line. Tops back on offense, and that is Jose Jefferson with a nice diving catch. Sophomore receiver, second and five. Norwood gets a carry, breaks the tackle, jukes, and he is in the open field and gone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They are now on top, 28-21. Bulldogs' run game is looking really impressive so far this season. A lot of teams are struggling defending the option. And Joseph Adai just got absolutely destroyed by Antoine Finch for his 26th career tackle. Mock throws it right side, Torrance Stevens once again, that is down to the 27 yard line, well short of the first down. Fourth and three, and they punt the ball away down to the 35 yard line. And it bounces off of Norwood, and Romero picks it up from LSU. That's another turnover for the Bulldogs. 
Here's Joseph Adai up the middle. Mikulov with another tackle this game. He's close to five or six, I believe. And Joseph Adai is rocked once again. This time it is Gabe Wallace blitzing off that left edge. Adai only 45 yards on 12 carries today. Third and 11. Mock looking to throw it. Mikulov pressures him. He throws it deep. And it's intercepted by the freshman safety, George Tyler. And he's going to take it past the 10, the 15, all the way past the 20-yard line for his first career interception. And it's a huge one as the Bulldogs now look to go up by two scores in this game. Bryson Davis in the backfield. Top's going to option left side. Jukes still going in the open field past the 50. The linebacker jaces him, dives, misses the tackle. He breaks the tackle, and he's going to take it to the house. One of the best plays you'll ever see. Oh my, what else can you say about Ken Topps? He should definitely be in a Heisman discussion at some point in this season. Linebacker giving chase the whole way. Dives, trips him up a little bit. And then he breaks another tackle and a nice block downfield by Scott Goldberg. Unbelievable effort by Ken Topps. 35-21 is the score as Matt Mock throws it deep and Torrance Stevens makes another catch past the 45-yard line. Mock having a good day, but tops 340 total yards. 181 on the ground, 159 through the air. And Mikulov gets some more pressure on Mock. And Clayton makes the catch down to the 35-yard line. George Tyler making the stop. Mock now over 200 total yards. Third and 10. Mock wants to set up a screen, throws it to the right side, and Benny Brazell makes the catch down to the six-yard line. Slovakia Griffith was guarding two guys. That'll end the third quarter with the Bulldogs on top, 42-21. Matt Mock throws it left side, and that is caught and dropped. Donnie Kramer laying him out after the catch, forcing him to drop the ball. Second and goal, direct snap to Joseph Adai, and George Tyler comes up and stops him short of the end zone. Back at the four-yard line, third and goal. Adai is stuffed once again. And there is Craig Walton, the freshman middle linebacker, coming up making another play this game. Fourth and goal. Mock looking to throw it. He's hit, and it is caught by Myers. The back of the end zone, and Matt Mock has injured his elbow. He is out for the game, but it is not a serious injury. Here's Garrett juking a man out, breaking a tackle, getting a first down for the Bulldogs. So they look to extend their lead. And Tops is going to option up the middle here, and he picks up about five yards and gets another first down for this Bulldog offense. Florida State beat Duke 63-7 today. Second and 12 for the Bulldogs. Play action from Tops. Scrambling left side. Still looking for somebody to get open, and he finds Goldberg in the middle once again, getting about two yards shy of the first down. Third and three. Bryson Davis in the backfield, and he is denied the first down. Linebacker came through unblocked, and Martin will come on for the punt. And he boots this one deep. That looks like it's going to bounce inside the 10-yard line. No, it is caught by Michael Clayton. Fair catch, and the Tigers will take over from their own 8-yard line. Motion man on the right side. Marcus Randall now in the game at quarterback, and he throws it, and Torrance Stevens makes the grab in double coverage down at the 44-yard line. What a play. Randall looking to throw once again all day, and he throws it deep, and it's caught by Clayton. George Tyler missed the opportunity for the interception. Clayton and Stevens having heck of a game, both of them, as that pass should have been intercepted by Donnie Kramer. Third and ten, Randall looking to throw, goes into the end zone, and Griffith drops an interception. Neil Nelson putting some pressure on him on that play. Fourth and ten, two and a half minutes to go in the game. Randall goes left side, deflected away by Craig Walton, freshman middle linebacker. And MSU takes over. Backups now in the game. Todd Joseph getting an option. He pitches it back to Fred Reed, and he gets it down to the 27 and a half yard line. Bulldogs over 250 rushing yards in the game. LSU at 103. Third and four, Justin Garrett, the fullback, gets the carry, and he picks up the first down. He's got 21 yards on six carries. He's got about 75 yards on the season in just two games. As Todd Joseph options out right side, cuts it back to the middle. Third and one, a minute and three seconds to go. Fred Reed will get the first down and more, almost getting to midfield. And that is going to do it, folks. We come out of here with a victory, 42-28. to 28. 
over the 16th ranked LSU Tigers. They are now 4-1 and one on the year. We are 4-0, and oh, and we passed the gauntlet. We got through USC, Oklahoma, Texas, and LSU. Now, that's a huge test for us every single game, and we came out victorious. Offense is playing lights out this season, and the defense has come through in the clutch when we needed them the most. And tops, 305 quarterback passer rating. That is unbelievable. He also had 185 yards on the ground with four touchdowns. He had zero rushing touchdowns going into the game. And that huge 79-yard touchdown run, I'll never see another play like that in my life. That was just unbelievable. Ray Ray Bivens, one catch, 74 yards today. Desmond Mikulov, freshman defensive tackle, leads the team in tackles, along with Slovakia Griffith and George Tyler with six. Five tackles for a loss today. One sack by Neil Nelson. George Tyler gets his first career pick. We got six deflections. Three forced fumbles today. George Tyler getting his first career forced fumble as well. We were shut out in the fourth quarter, but we had our backups in. And next week, we have to travel to Nashville, Tennessee to take on the Vanderbilt Commodores in another SEC showdown. And this is a trap game. They beat us last year. They shocked us. And they still have Jay Cutler. Now we picked him off a bunch of times last season and we still came out with a loss so let's see what we can do this year differently to come out of there with a victory. And that game will most likely be out Saturday. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.